and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about open studio tours. I hope you get involved. I'm getting ready to go into my studio because we have one today, and I'm gonna show you how much I cram into my studio on my work. Come on in, it's not a really a showcase gallery. I don't have pretty little setups and flower arrangements and, and, and doll heads and clothing and cute little things like that. I just basically have nothing but paintings in this studio, and that's what I'm showing. So it's really clean, it's not cluttered up, <laughs> plenty to look at, lots of different sizes. And make sure it's your current work, not the stuff that you started in high school and uh, that kind of stuff. Show them everything you've got. And it could be displayed kind of haphazardly like this uh, in sections. Some are canvases, some are paper pieces. And as we go around, you see the larger pieces. And make yourself available and talk. I don't do painting during this time. Some people like to do that, I don't. This is the back wall. This is what I'm currently working on, coming from workshops that we were doing. So uh, this is the actual painting area that you see. And you see, I paint flat. So all my supplies are over here on the side table. It makes it a little bit nicer and neater and all that good stuff. But this is where it all happens for me. And it's nice to have those nice clean walls. So let me show you another wall. So here is my other wall. Again, lots of paper, full sizes, and the canvases different kinds of canvases. It's pretty much loaded with paintings. And there's nothing else here, because that's what I'm here to sell. It's a marketing tool. These open studio tours are fantastic for marketing. People love, their, your patrons love to come into the studio and, and see where you make all this great stuff, right? Besides, it's a great time to start cleaning up the studio. All right, and more. I stick it on top of the windows even, you know? Keep on going, and all the loose pieces. I don't mat everything. I like, they like to go through all your loose pieces. Oh, we found it in the bin, that kind of thing. So make it exciting for them too. Something for everybody, different price ranges. Don't have major big price ranges, okay? Don't have chairs all over the place. You want them to be moving around. Speaking of no chairs, we don't serve food. They're not here to eat, all right? Give them water and you make yourself available and walking around. If you wanna do some painting, that's a great idea too. They like to actually see something. I don't do very good work when there's people all around like that. But if you wanna do that, that's a curiosity too, and they'd love to see you create. Remember, this is all about you. So I'm telling you, sign up for those studio tours. Don't, I mean, I call them, they're really open studio tours. Don't say a studio sale. That's the worst thing you could ever do really hurts your galleries and everybody else who bought it your regular price. So it's the same price. It's not as people assume it's less. No, no. Your price is your price. You don't want to be in you don't want to be in competition with your gallery. Okay? Besides your patrons who have bought your paintings would be really upset <laughs> if all of a sudden you're lowering your prices. So it's the same price. Simple things like that. Um, Keep it wide open. Don't have a lot of busy stuff going around. Make it easy for people to walk in and have one place where all the transaction and money is being taken care of. And that's what Kate does here. And, she, and you don't talk money. You're the star. So be the star. And I'll see you at your next open studio tour. Take care. And I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.